so goats are getting buckthorn here today. We're about to move them out of this paddock. This is what it should look like after a stripping. Um, this is after their first grazing. There'll be a little bit of green left, but um, probably 80, 90% of it should, should be gone. Um, we could leave them one more day to really clean this up. But uh, since we're doing multiple grazings, I'm not, I'm not too concerned about really eating it down to the dirt. This is what this, this is probably two, three acres and about close to a hundred goats here. And in one day, this is what they did. This is what it looked like yesterday. This looked just like this area here. So show down the fence line here so you can see before and after. To the right is one day of grazing. To the left, 100 years of overgrowth. That looks good. Yeah, they got a bunch of. We'll just move them around that way when we move them next. There's pieces this size all the way through almost, I think. All right. Did you show the before? They're still working on it, but you don't want to strip it down to the dirt. You want to leave some behind. The idea is the goats will go through this grass and get all the wild parsnip and thistle stripped down. And ideally, we want all grass regrowing eventually. This is year two in this ditch, and it's looking better already. Less weeds, less wild parsnip, more grass. Uh, going up along the road here, you gotta make sure your fence is really, really in good shape. Uh, we'll go through it and put some support posts in, in addition to the posts that are, are integrated into this net fence. Some other tips, make sure it's shocking hot. Some e uneven ground here, it's easy to get, to get the fence shorting. A lot of times you'll see a white wire caught between the ground and a post like that. That'll cause a short. Um, so after you set it up, go around, make sure all the uh, wires are off the ground. You don't have any wrapped around the bottom of a post. That'll short out your fence high traffic areas we only do small sections at a time uh, that way we can ensure the fence is hot and shocking good if you try to do two big areas um, we'll only do those really large areas and wooded air wooded areas away from roads away from uh, what else roads construction construction sites um, yeah when we're in the city we can keep it small
pretty good job. Can see the water now. 